Also today in Washington, the Biden administration introduced new resources designed to address the rise in anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, while also expediting the government's processing of discrimination complaints. In the words of the Secretary of Education, hate has no place in our school classrooms or on our college campuses. Tarek Miner is joining us now with details of this new announcement from the administration and also local reaction. Tarek? We know it's being called the most ambitious United States government effort to counter anti-Semitism in American history. A national strategy created by the U.S. Department of Education ensuring schools and colleges have the tools that they need to combat hate. Anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. climbed 388 percent in the aftermath of the terrorist attacks on Israel last month, according to the Anti-Defamation League. And bias incidents on Muslims jumped 182 percent, according to the Council on American-Islamic Relations. The Biden administration saying colleges and universities must push back against this alarming rise in hatred. There is an, a new level of anxiety. There's a new level of fear, of unease, when on our college campuses. And in our communities, we have people chanting um, words that I don't want to repeat, but calling for the end of Israel, calling for uh, the destruction of the Jewish people. Rabbi Shmuley Novak of the Chabad at UNF spoke to News for Jacks from Washington, D.C., where he traveled with dozens of students for the March for Israel rally. The rabbi says new resources from the White House sends a strong statement that bias and discrimination are not a partisan issue. I don't know if the administrations of universities and schools in the country really understand the depth of the anxiety. So I think the additional resources and bringing attention and double clicking on this very, very important subject is critical and this is the right time. The Department of Education is releasing two guides on anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, one meant for young students and the other for higher education institutions. The new tools include instruction for schools on how to navigate increasingly tense environments and a listening session for educators of all levels is being offered on how schools can keep students safe. The Department of Justice also published an updated hate crimes threat response guide, which explains how students and educators should respond to hate. Rabbi Novak says he's thankful for the increased awareness from the federal government. We do have an imperative to educate our children about the Holocaust, about the nature of anti-Semitism, so that when they see it so blatantly as it's being displayed in our streets in Jacksonville and across the country, they can call it out for what it is, and that is unambiguous Jew hatred. The Education Department is also launching a webinar session about hate-based threats, harassment, and bullying in the month of December. Tom?